So in our farmers research center uh, the another uh, feature is this biodigester. So it hardly costed about 35,000 because it is only a pit and uh, support we, we have uh, used uh, third patri black slabs and uh, we have a, this is a 22 feet length and 12 feet width uh, and about uh, 4 and a half feet depth and we have at the bottom uh, a filter bed, uh, filter bed is nothing but a 4 inch perforated pipe uh, on top of it there is a iron mesh and uh, on top of that uh, will be 20 mm uh, and uh, on top of that will be 12 mm and uh, 6 mm. So we have uh, found that instead of sand 6 mm if we use this uh, sand of uh, sand filter it gives a better result and uh, we allow fermentation in this. Uh, we get uh, the from Jeevamritam filter waste uh, through this 3 inch pipeline uh, 600 uh, liters every 4 days. And we also uh, get from the gober gas uh, slurry into this 4 inch uh, pipeline automatically uh, the excess will fall into this and then we add uh, all type of uh, waste farm waste into this including grass or uh, uh, calotropy and then fruit waste, vegetable waste whatever waste uh, it is there. So it is get uh, fermented and then uh, from the filter bed we get into the tank. And from that tank we pump into these two drum filters which were made uh, here itself which costed us uh, 2000 rupees each. So there are six filter, 7 filters in that uh, which I explained earlier. So and that will fall into the sump and from the sump we pump it into the uh, tank at the, at the uh, water sump which is about half kilometer from here. Uh, uh, there are 6000 liters and from that we pump it into the sand filter, sand filter to disc filter, disc filter into the system. So why so much care we have uh, taken is because the drips get clogged. So it is a big nuisance even we may lose the crop also by the time we clean them, them up and put it. So that is why we have taken utmost care but it did not cost us it's only uh, the pumping and then uh, the uh, normal filters which are 120 uh, micron uh, uh, available it hardly costs about 1000 rupees. So and uh, through this we have solved our uh, filtration problem. See the advantage of uh, this is you know normal uh, um, even farmyard manure by the time we collect and then put it, it uh, requires lot of labor and sometimes we could not put even though we have the farmyard manure labor was not available and on time to put it. So the second thing is they may not put it at the proper place, they may not cover it up and uh, it may for uh, sun and uh, it may dry up. So many problems are there whereas this will go directly to the root system because it will fall through the drip. Uh, so at the, at the uh, easiest way we can give a bio liquid fertilizer uh, is this and uh, we need not use any urea, DAP and then all those complexes and all that. We can make our own liquid bio liquid fertilizer by effectively using the waste, farm waste.